top 10 best apps this week, number 358, this brand new year, 2017. This time this year, I'm going to skip the best wallpaper. I'm going to go straight to the app, and I'm using the Google Pixel. Number one, edge gestures. There's a left edge and a right edge. You can customize. If we tap once, it'll go right into the calculator app, just as simple as that. And we can swipe in to go back. Double tapping, it's going to go right into the recent applications, long press we go into expanding notifications. And if you pay attention closely, I can swipe down. The left side, I customize, so I swipe all the way up. It goes fully brightness. You can see that's pretty bright. And swipe down, and it'll go all the way dimming down for nighttime. So it's a lot better than me having to reach down here and adjust this. I just love doing quick shortcuts. You could also customize the hot spots where you want it on the edge of the screens. Number two, fingerprint gestures. If you have a fingerprint in the back of your phone or the front, it'll work the same, but you can enable features. So if you want that feature where you swipe down, you're gonna get your notifications drop. You can do a double tap, and it'll go into the recents, as you can see there. And if you just single tap it, and it'll vibrate, and it'll go home. Instead of having to move your fingers down to the navigation keys, if you want to take them off completely or not have to move your fingers from where they are. Also fingerprint gestures, you can turn that on and off. So if I click on that, you see it turned off. The application works okay, it's not the best, but it's kind of cool. Number three, dumpster. If you deleted a picture, an application, or a file that you accidentally didn't really mean to do it, or you need it back because you changed your mind, this application keeps those files that you deleted off your phone as in a, like a little trash bin, and it keeps track of them at what times and how big the files were when you took them off. So whenever my old files become a week old, it will delete it automatically, so it's now deleted permanently instead of having to be able to come in here and restore. Now, if you go into your toggles, it also has a little option to turn it off so it does not save when you delete them. And you can turn it on back again just like that. Number four, rotation control. If you're like me, you have your rotation turned off and it's always on portrait. But this one will allow you to do only certain applications. So we'll press that on. Demand it to be always in landscape. And everything is going to be in landscape, even if it wasn't able to be in landscape. So now if we go into per app, this is going to allow you to set only a certain application to rotate on you. So I'm going to go to YouTube. YouTube is the only one that I really want it to landscape itself. As you see, it does it only in the YouTube app. So you pick your apps and what you want it to rotate on. Trust me, it beats having to always bring it down, toggle it on and off. It's just so much easier just to all of a sudden get into the app where it needs to orientate to. Number five, Blip Blip. This is a super simple and a must-have application for me. It beeps every hour with a sound. You only have around seven different sounds. So as soon as it hits six, it's going to sound like this. The next hour hit, if I last looked at the clock, it was like 5 p.m. And it goes... That's 6 p.m. obviously, right? I love it. There's gong. Ship's bell, I don't know if you want this. And then blip blip. You could also go into the settings and choose what times you don't want it to beep at. Number six, blue light filter. Now that blue light supposedly gives strain to your eyes and it also does not help you sleep. Click onto that and it turns it into the color mode that you can adjust intensity if you want it to be a little bit stronger. So you can actually read it at nighttime and you're not gonna get that blue light. And you could also dim down the screen even lower then what your phone really would go. You can set the timer as well, notification on bar if you want it to turn off a certain settings there. It's also a little flashlight that it'll help you use for the night. There's a mute and then it's back to the settings so you can change what kind of t color temperature you would like to see. Number seven, app drawer anywhere. Let's say you're in your application and you don't want to leave it just yet, but you're going to gesture out and you're going to find that application that you want. There's Instagram. So obviously you can be in any app, just swipe in and keep searching through where you want to go to instead of having to go home, open that, and get to your apps. You're already into this app, just bring it out and then do that. You could also hold on to this and open it up wider. More information, click on that, it gives you a lot more settings. Quite a bit here to see where you can turn on and off. If we swipe to the left, it's gonna to want to uninstall the application. Number eight, storage quick tile. Now all this application does, it allows you to go into a quick toggle button to open up your storage in case you wanna see what applications, your explorer, your systems, you can see how much memory you have out of 32 gigs. Let's see how many times it would take you to get into your storage without the application. There's one, two, 
searching for it three four five touches to get into the store it beats having to go through all the settings when you can have a little cool toggle shortcut there instead of having to go through all those steps so it's a great little toggle to add on to your notification panel number nine minimal ui now as you notice i have the time up there this tuesday january 3rd and i might be doing my apps on top 10 Tuesday, so it's triple T's, TTT. If you want to change up your background, let's choose, look at that, that just looks really good. And then you go over to the widgets and you can see what kind they are, but you can't choose them from here. So Minimal UI is a plugin for your Zuper widget. So if you go into configure widgets, you'll see an empty space like this, or you might have some stuff going on, but click on that. You're gonna go into the Minimal UI, many, many different styles. So it does take a little time to set up, but you're going to like these little cool widgets. Go try it out for yourself. And number 10 is test your hearing. You will have to use your headphones to test your hearing. Trust me, this is kind of important so you can see how your hearing is. Maybe you're having hard hearing. You don't know what. As you get older, your hearing deteriorates. Kind of fun taking the test. If you don't hear it, just say, I didn't hear it. And if it says, uh, are you sure? Do you want to turn up the volume? And there's another tone, I still didn't hear it. So then you go to the next one, play the tone. Now it will know if you're lying. If you think you heard something, it's gonna calculate and tell you it, there was no sound there. Now this is my results when I first took it. It tells me that my hearing is the age of 22 to 24. I am actually 30 years old, so my hearing is very nice. And you can see that's all the sounds that it played, but it's kind of cool taking the test to play around with your friends and really see what you can hear or you can't hear. But there you guys have it. These are the top 10 best apps this week brought to you by me the cool loser here in the new year 2017 I know it's been a long time since I made a video which was like almost two months ago but I'm coming back I took a big break hopefully at least I have one top 10 roundup here every week from here on again thumbs up if you like me coming back and as always I will see you guys next time later